In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started on the guest cottage. This is project 4.3 in chapter 4, and we are going to be drawing out just this basic guest cottage. It is a rectangle. We're going to draw the walls for it. We're going to draw the doors. We're going to draw the windows, and we're going to put some basic text in there. We'll also hatch the walls with a uh, hatch pattern as well. So um, we'll go ahead and get started on this. So looking at this sketch, that's what we're going to kind of go by, but the book walks you through step by step each thing that you need to do. Now step one says um, download and open the cottage prototype drawing file and you can download that with the book or if your school has it saved into a shared directory, you might be able to grab it off the shared directory. When you do open it, you're going to save it into your home directory and you're going to rename it Guest Cottage. So we'll come into AutoCAD. I've already got the template open, the cottage prototype. So we need to save as. I'm going to click on this red uh, application button, the big A up here. I'll click on it with my left mouse button. I'll click Save As. And then you're going to save it into wherever it is that you save your uh, drawings and we'll call this guest cottage click save and that's it i can see that it's called guest cottage right up here i can see where i've saved it i see the file path at the very top title bar all right, so we've got this done. It says to activate the model tab in the lower left corner. I have the model tab activated. You know you've got it activated when it's got this dark background here. So I've got the model tab activated. Now what we need to do is the drawing setup. So we need to set our units to architectural. A couple of ways that you can do that. The easiest way is if you happen to see your units down here, um, in the quick access toolbar, we can, or I'm sorry, the status bar, we can uh, click here and set it to architectural. If you don't see it in your status bar, click on those three lines at the very end of it to say, they say customization. And then you'll come over here and you'll put a little check mark next to units. It's handy to have it down there. It's not there by default, but it's nice to have it down there so you can quickly change units. Another way that we can change units is to type in the word U-N-I-T-S and it pops this window up so we can set our units to architectural. The precision by default is already set to 1 16th, so we can do it that way. Um, you can also, if you have your pull down menu up here, you can get to your units that way as well. I don't see my pull down menu, so I will click on at the, at the, this is the quick access toolbar up here. If you click on the down arrow, show menu bar, we can say format units, and it does the same thing. So however it is that you end up getting there, we just wanna make sure that our units are set to architectural. Now we need to um, set the standard font to be on the stylus or the standard text style to use the stylus BT font. I think the easiest way to get there, again, I'll show you several ways to get there. I like to go to the annotate tab because I have a whole entire panel just for text. I click on this tiny little arrow in the corner and that pulls up my text style. I'll quickly show you a couple of other ways. You could do format, the, the pull down menu that we just got. Click on format and you see text style. You can also click under the home ribbon, the annotation tab. If you pull down this arrow next to the word annotation, this first button here takes you to your text style. Lots of ways to get there. No right way or wrong way, just whatever you feel comfortable with. And we are gonna pull down, we're gonna change the standard, but we're gonna um, pull it down and we'll set it to stylus BT. If you start typing, if you do it quickly, type STY, you don't have to scroll down to it. It'll just jump to stylus BT. You do have to do that quickly though. If you, if you type it too slowly, it won't, it won't take those as three letters that should be together. So stylus BT, apply, close. And it should change your text so that you see that it went from that kind of weird typewriter looking text to this text here. If it did not, you can type in RE for regenerate, enter, and that should refresh your screen and um, give you what you're looking for. 
All right, the next step is to create some layers. So we're gonna go, I'm on my home ribbon. I'll click on layer properties. It pulls up this big window here and we are gonna create some layers. So I'll start off by clicking this, this little first icon right here. It looks like a stack of papers with star. And it tells me the layer name should be clothes rod. The color should be magenta. So I'm going to click in the little white color box here and change it to magenta. We're just mostly going to stick with these index colors, this little strip down here. So there's my magenta. The line type needs to be dashed. So I'm going to click on the word continuous. It needs to be dashed, but I don't see dashed in this window. So if I click load, then I can scroll down until I find one called dashed. We're not going dashed two or dashed x2, just regular old dashed. Now I can select it from that list. I loaded that line type into this drawing from that big list. I'm gonna select it here and say okay. So now I can see it's been set current. And then the line weight, we're just gonna leave it at the default line weight. We'll create another one. This one's called doors. Again, we'll change the color. So click on the, what is now the magenta box. Notice it kind of made a copy of the clothes, uh, clothes rod since that was the last one I did. We're gonna set it to blue. We're gonna change the line type to continuous and leave the line weight to default. Click on another one. We're gonna call this one hatch. We need to change the color to cyan which is that light kind of turquoisey color. Line type continuous, default line weight. Click on this to create a new layer. We're gonna call this one shelves. Color should be yellow, continuous. We've got another one called text. Color should be magenta. Again, continuous and default. Everything else is gonna be continuous and default. The only one that was different was the clothes rod. Walls. Change that color to red. One more. Windows. Change this color to green. And that's it, we've made all of these layers, so that looks good. Uh, I really do recommend, we're gonna go ahead and close this out. Every time you do something that is uh, pretty significant, you don't wanna like accidentally lose it if the electricity goes out or your computer shuts down for some reason, it is really important to get into the habit of just save, save, save. So to save, you can click on this little um, icon up here to say save. You can also type control S on your keyboard. I, when I'm drawing, I just keep my finger on control S and just throughout the drawing, I am constantly saving. So it's a good idea to get into that habit. You never know when the electricity is going to just go out on you and you don't want to lose all the work that you've done. So definitely get into the habit of saving as you go.